I apologize for all of that. Um, my dad had called. We're gonna hold a meeting, I guess. Thanks for all the support. You're both gonna get expelled if we don't steal Kamashita's heart. Why are we sitting around? We don't have time to waste. Okay, well, what now? I don't want to see this heart, but we have no idea where it actually is. I guess we'll just have to explore some more until we manage to find it. What do we want to do about the shadows? It'd be really bad if any of them caught us. Think we should try avoiding them for now or something? This whole plan's out of the question if we don't have the power to fight. It'd be best if we gain some more experience by fighting suitable shadows for now. That's it for that meeting. That's about the size of it. So I guess we'll just infiltrate All the right. palace. I'm gonna bust loose. I have really no idea what's going on. It seems we can only get experience from fighting shadows. So but damn. Stop being a hmm? creep. What's up? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. Cat. <laughs> I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... Please don't name her cat. What do you think? Cat girl! Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down Did with Did you this. want sexy cat woman? What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? But you're red. Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. So, I've been working part-time. I bought some weapons. Alright, let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. Just casually, just... The prisoner has returned! Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Aid? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. Mm -hmm. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. Mm -hmm. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Um. I don't know, let's go with the fool. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Mm -hmm. Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. 
Okay. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Okay. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. Mm -hmm. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. Mm -hmm. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. That's fair. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I can't do anything with this? Oh, I see. I see, I see. So I can't do anything with the bicorn because I won't be able to wield it. I'm really confused. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna do the jack o' lantern. I see, I see, I see, I see. So, I'm really confused as to what's going on here. So if I select the jack-o'-lantern, I can either make it an incubus, death, or lovers. I'm I'm not understanding. If I choose, okay, I'm gonna choose the fool. But it just stays level three. What's the point of that? The pixie is cool though, and it does thunder. I'm gonna choose this to make it more powerful, I guess. Let's make it an incubus. I really don't understand what's going on. This is the form your new persona is expected to take after fusion. Oh god. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. It's scary looking. What if I put you in with the chariot? You okay with this? No. It will level up though. You can't handle this. You can't handle it. Shit. Not terrible, but not impressive. Not terrible, but not impressive. Excessive power only leads to destruction. I really just don't Looks pretty tough. Not terrible, but not in excessive power only leads to destruction. I really don't understand. Looks pretty tough. What I'm what I'm getting out of this. You know? So essentially I'm losing a persona. Is what I'm is what I'm seeing here. Right? I'm losing a persona. I don't want to lose our sin. You can't handle this. Cause if I lose our sin, I'm gonna be mad as hell. The pixie is the Looks pretty tough. I guess we'll just do this. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Um, I already have fire damage, I feel. Right? Yeah, I have electric damage. Due to whatever the hell. 
I feel like having defense skills would be fine. I feel like I have Aggie in somewhere else. Let's just do this, I guess. Its power will be nothing unusual. Sure. My, my. I don't know what just happened, if we're being honest. Did I just chop off the heads? I'm Incubus. Now that you've got me within your mask, you're never gonna get a wink of sleep again. Great. Cool. I genuinely do not know what just happened. Ah, how impressive. A stronger one has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. What do you mean? What do you mean? Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. I feel a deep in connection with Igor. What is this? A more full. See things normally invisible to the naked eye by pressing L2. Alright. Cool. Awesome. You can now use a confidant ability, third eye. Activating third eye in both the real world and in the metaverse will let you see things normally hidden. Use third eye to reveal various That is a thief's skill. Allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. No, no requests. I'm just... So the fusion and confidence and infusion and skill inheritance have been added to tutorials. Can I leave? How goes the Are you finished? What? I want to go back cuz I just don't know what that was. Time inmate. Shit's confusing. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. To my inmate teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're sure. counting on you, Joker. Great. So are my personas gone now? So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? Can I sell fast It'll travel? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. You know, quick travel. Bring up the map with R1. And then the thing. Oh. You can also quick travel from the safe room back to the palace entrance. Cool. You can receive aid from allies via the Thieves Guild. This is available when infiltrating the metaverse while connected online. You can only request help a limited number of times. The Thieves Guild will be able to help you out of a very out of a variety of desperate situations. There are no downsides to receiving aid, so be sure to use it proactively if you find yourself in trouble. Look at the menu. Let me look at my persona. Okay, so I still have our scene. 
I like our scene. Our scene's my favorite. This thing is fucking creepy looking. So... So I have all of these personas. But like... Yeah, I still don't understand. That's fine. What am I doing? I can just... There we go. I'll get the hang of it. Oh. What's up with this place? It's a gap in the cognition. It's safe for me, if you will. Yeah, still not getting it. Right? Oh. Uh, I'm fuzzy on the details, but I think it's some kind of spot where shadows can't find us. Huh? I don't think a place like that existed in here. So what do we do in this safe room? Take a break, duh. Oh, and we talk about stuff too. So the place is for resting up and plotting, got it. I guess I'll rest for a bit too then. Let me know when we're ready to head out, Joker. In safe rooms, you can consult with your team members by choosing to talk. You may be able to chat with your team members about your progress to the palace and check on your party. Oh. The safe room discussion reminds me, this is for you. Oh, stamina kits. You can only use it in safe places, but when you do, it'll take care of all the exhaustion from your past fights. Well, let's decide when to use it. Just make sure the time is right. Same items such as healing four can only be used in safe rooms. You can use these items after you enter a safe room and select consult. The areas where you can use these items are limited. However, they will greatly hear your party, so use them in emergency situations. Well, What are you going to do, Joker? Talk to the team. How's our progress? Hey. Then we just get in here based on how the castle looks, we still have a long way to go. This is amazing. Can't believe a phone app took us somewhere like this. Well, not all of us need that app, you know. The cat can just come in on his own. What? I am not a cat! So wait, what's the deal with those soldier things that are serving Kamashita? They transform us into weird monsters whenever we fight them. Mm. Huh? Oh, you must be talking about the shadows. What are shadows? Yeah, I've been wondering about those guard dudes too. What's their deal? Mm. I can explain it, but it'll be complicated. Do you want to hear? Good, why not? Listen up. Deep in the innermost depths of every human's heart lies their true personality, their shadow. So it's not that the guards are transforming into those things, those are their actual forms. The reason they look like gods and other mythical beings is because they spawn from the human psyche. Aww. Whoa, but wait, what are they doing in Kamashita's castle to begin with? <laughs> it seems that the distortion of the palace draws them in. Once they're here, their forms change, they become underlings for the palace ruler. When you think about it, the palace ruler is just a shadow of whoever owns the palace. Maybe these places have something to do with the world's our minds or the collective unconscious Whoa. okay wait that doesn't make any sense right <sighs> had a feeling you'd say that well you don't need to think too hard about it they're enemies so don't let your guard down okay what are your thoughts is there anything else you want to discuss uh how's everyone okay i can still keep going i think everyone else is okay too everyone still seems energetic i think we can keep exploring if you're feeling up to it what are your thoughts continue exploring okay let's go Head to the previous point. The previous point was the castle gate. Right? I don't know what the hell. We've arrived. So what do we do now? Okay. Did I get the ambush? Oh. Running low. Oh, I did get the ambush. Cool. Um. Let's shoot him dead. Electricity? You ain't got any of that. Shoot him. Damn. Loser. 
He took out like a lot of my health. Only 10 experience points. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Check out this new skill. What am I supposed to What All right. Yeah, we beat him. Let's move on. It's like hmm. When this one comes back over here, we're gonna run and hit him. I think. There was also one by the safe room. I need you to come this way. Yeah, and turn around. Show me your true form. Turn around. <laughs> Ambush. Oh shit, there's a bunch of them. Oh, turn up. Oh nigga, ain't nobody got ice here. Oh, this is ice. Okay, I You're guess. Mine. Whoa! Looking cool, Joker! Sona! Oh, wait. Got that. Gunshot should hit its weakness. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Persona! Get this one. Looking cool, Joker! Let's go. I'm gonna get this one. Ravage them! And I'm gonna talk. Um, if I talk with them, I can combine them, right? Right? Well, no, because they're lovers. I got rid of the jack o' lantern, so we're gonna talk to them. Lend me your power. Wait, what? Just what kind of personality do you really have? Can we talk? All right, I suppose. Hey, that really hurt. Oh, what if this leaves a scar and it's permanent? I'll take responsibility. Take responsa. Oh my god, we just met. We can't get married or anything like that yet. Alright, I get it. You didn't really mean to approach me, right? When it came right down to it, you couldn't do anything to me. What do you want me to- How could you tell? I guess you could call it a girl's intuition. You know, we're kind of like similar. Wait, talking made me remember something. I'm so not a shadow that belongs here. I used to be in a human sea of souls. I'm pixie. Let's hope we get along. Cool. And then I can Not bad. use that to transform them. Right? Alright. Shit. <laughs> he turned. I fucked that up. Oh shit. Well, excuse me, Morgana. Morgana got it. Morgana chilling. We're done here. Let's go. A spectacular victory. Casually. Twelve experience, but we got some money out of it though. Any okay. leveled up? No levels ups. Great. <laughs> that was easy. I'll reveal your true form. Boom. Where did he come from, though? He wasn't there before. I don't see a weak spot. No weak spot. Guess we'll shoot him. Let me just kill him. Can I like skip this part? There's like no leveling happening right. here. That enemy was really weak. Now then. Please find us have my seal of approval. Use them wisely. Smoke screen Molotov cocktail free spray vanish ball. Multiple helpful function will aid your progress. Auto recover uses your party's healing skills on all party members. Be aware that doing this consumes a required amount of SP. You can also use infiltration tools such as smoke screen to quickly feed battle. These tools will give you an advantage during fights.
Where's the other one? It's like around that corner or some shit. Or is he even moving? He's not even moving. I'll reveal your true form. Great. Ambush him. More pixies. We're gonna talk to them. We're gonna get their power out of them. Cause it just makes the most sense. Cause I can combine them all, right? Cool. So I get EXP from doing that. Just retreat. for the pixie, though. It's like. All right. It's like a weird Pokemon, I guess. Turn your head, boy. Show me your true form. Just break all their heads open. What are these? Oh, he got it. I'm not too worried. Homeboy be out here really killing the game. See, we chilling. I could have been came in here. Only eight experience points though. I might have to just start killing them all. No match for me. There's one here too. Okay, now that we've expanded our roster, let's try that thing. That thing. Now then. Baton path. Actually, I'll show you what I mean. What we did with this shadow. Show me your true form. Ooh, a bicorn. I want the bicorn. Okay. I'll oh, sh show you an example first. You better watch closely. Use this opportunity to baton pass and swap your turn with someone else. Okay. Mm, I see. Recipient of the baton pass will have their attack power and healing ability increase. If they pass it on again, that party member's stats will also increase. If you simply pass the baton to all four people in your party, the fourth party member will be able to use a skill without using any. Now strike the enemy's weakness and give the baton pass a try. I see. The baton pass makes it weak to electricity. Let's go for that. I don't have. Okay. You're weak to this. Go down. Uh -huh. It's weak to electricity. Right. Let's go for that. Do this. Oh, I see. I fucked that up. Baton pass to you. Okay, and then electricity to this thing. And then baton pass it back to me. Yeah. Um, this one is weak to fire. And then wait, wait. Gun attacks will hit its weakness. Go, go, go! Gun attacks. Woo. All right, pass the baton and follow up. I don't think I have one of these. That won't work right now. All out attack. Just die. They switched it now that mine at the top now? So confusing. Nice going. You guys are nail it. Improving yourself is important, but learning to fight the team is just as vital to our survival. By coordinating our efforts, we can take control of the battle as often as possible. Baton pass will help with a lot of that. Cool. So just jump around a lot. Oh, what the hell? So go up the stairs. Damn it. 
There's one here too. Oh well, guess we just gotta ambush it from behind again. Oh sure, if you wanna go by in the Orthox day, but there's a more stylish route. Listen up. See those sofas on the side of the hallway? Hide behind those so you can get closer to the enemy. Once in range, jump on and rip its mask off. Well, that does sound pretty damn cool. Still. Hey, this isn't a movie. Now, let's Drug with your poise, plan. you should be able to pull it off. Give it a try. Near cover, press X to hide behind it. From there, you can check out what's ahead and enemies cannot find you. If there is another hiding spot nearby, you can press X to jump there instantly. Also, if you're within range of an enemy, you can attack from cover for a guaranteed ambush. Make good use of this to gain advantage. However, beware that cover cannot be used if an enemy is already chasing you. I'll reveal your true form. I mean, I could just rain up on him. Jesus. He just really be out here. We're gonna. Let's go, Captain. Then we're gonna baton pass to myself. I'm going to shoot this one. Let's talk to the bicorn. Great. That's all I need. I have more of them. Now's the time to retreat. Turn up, y'all. We we getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. Six exp At least I got money out of it though. And my bicorn leveled up. Okay. Whoa. Sweet. Damn. That totally works. That was so cool. They totally can't spot us while we're hiding. Right. That's right. So long as we lay low like that, enemies don't even notice us. Whenever we hide, we can take our time preparing for the next ambush. Move R to look around while hiding. Moving L lets you change the direction. Change the direction faced or leap to an adjacent location. Not only can you ambush the enemy while hiding, but you can also avoid enemy contact and loot nearby treasure cache. It's cool. There are multiple adjacent locations you could move to, use whatever to choose your destination. You can also use up to focus on enemies or down to focus on treasure caches. Hey, I see a shadow. Be careful. Hold on. Missed his call. He'll probably call back. We can hit it when it turns around. I'll reveal your true form. Come on, bro. The first one is ours. Cool. Jesus. Pass it to me. I'll use my fire to burn you. Half to hell. Killer. I guess. He's left. Yeah! What are you weak against? Weak to fire skills. Oh, I already did a fire Arizona! skill. That's fine. Let's do this. I guess she has the fire. Nice job, Panther. He took them all out. That wasn't as good as the last time, but it's cool. We got some money though. Our scene's level four. Alright y'all, I love you all. Like, comment, okay. subscribe, share with all your friends, make good choices. No I'm out this bit.